So what is hearsay? What does it have to do with your injury and accident case? Hi, I'm Dr. Guy DiMartino, and today I'd like to talk about hearsay. I had a guy in my office the other day, and we were talking about something. He was saying, well, this person can't say that. It's hearsay. They can't use that. And I just chuckled, and I said to myself, well, they probably will be able to use it. And this is the reason why. Hearsay legally has a definition, and what it is, it is an out-of-court statement that, is, uh, that somebody is attempting to use in court for the truth of the matter asserted. So somebody said something out of court, and another person wants to come into court and say, this person said, blah, 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 blah. And the guy was right. It was an out-of-court statement, and somebody did want to say it for the truth of the matter in court, so typically it was hearsay. But this is the thing about hearsay. There are 23 or 24, depending upon what state rule or federal rule you're looking at, exceptions to the hearsay rule. So, the exception that we see so many times in personal injury and medical malpractice cases is the medical diagnosis exception. Patient goes into their doctor and says, doctor, I hurt my neck in a car accident. That's an out of court statement. The doctor writes that in their record and somebody later on will try to bring that statement into court so and they want it for the truth of the matter that the patient had neck pain after a car accident. So it meets the definition of hearsay. But there is an exception to the hearsay rule which says we believe that this types of statement are credible because people do not lie to their doctors so we are going to allow this information to come in because it was said to the doctor for the purpose of medical diagnosis. Now there are 20 some odd of these exceptions. The fact is is that much hearsay does get in in auto accident, medical malpractice, and other civil litigation for a number of reasons. Number one, it really doesn't make a difference or number two, you, you don't want your attorney to get up and object all the time because the jury starts to think, hey, what are you trying to hide? So this hearsay thing, typically, yeah, a lot of things are hearsay, but you want to know something most of the time, it really doesn't make a difference. If you have any questions about hearsay and how it might play in your medical malpractice case or injury case, you can always give me a call, shoot me an email, or visit my website and blog. Thank you and have yourself a great day.